everybody, it's Tyler here at FMA Allentown checking in with legendary 103 Cyber Sonics. We just watched them match. Phenomenal score, over 20 notes scored uh, with their alliance as well, too. So looking really good here early at Allentown. Take a look at 103 has to offer this year. I really love everything that goes into this whole package. Awesome custom sword drive we'll be talking about as well. Uh, but just a lot of great things that we'll go through in regards to your iteration. Uh, they have a really cool amp mechanism that I, I think is really unique amongst the teams that I've seen so far. So let's learn more about this team coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Dylan, let's start off on this robot talking about your shooter. When we were talking earlier, uh, you're going with that side uh, shooter and then getting a really good spin out of it. So talk to me about just the overall process of what's gone into this. All right, so we had around nine iterations of our shooter. We do a lot of testing just to make sure everything is all right and uh, to the best that we can make it. So we, at first we did uh, two side wheels, two side shooters. Um, that didn't really give us the distance that we wanted. Um, then we tried top and bottom shooters. Um, then we noticed that the notes flipped in the air. So we wanted to try to minimize that by um, giving the notes spin and trying to make it more flat so we can get longer, longer distance shots. And um, so we also have this, this shooter can also pivot up and down for a closer shot and a longer shot. Our long shot can go about towards the end of the uh, stage and our close shot is just up near the subwoofer. So I can demonstrate that real quick. Sure. Okay, no. So it goes up and then down, just like that. Yesterday when I was watching you on practice, it seemed like uh, there was a little bit of tuning that needed to be done. On your interview, talking to your drive coach, I know that the couple of the measurements were maybe a little bit different than what you were expecting. How did you compensate for that here early on? Um, yeah, we really thought about this overnight. And what we did was we put little spacers in the pneumatics so we could uh, lift the shooter up a little bit more than it was at home. So um, that basically put our shot back to what we were used to at our um, practice field. So um, yeah. I don't see a whole lot of Cheeto dust on this robot. So overall, uh, have you been uh, handling the notes pretty well? Like not a big lot of issues with jamming or anything like that? No, I think we've, yeah, we've really tried to do well with the notes, trying to keep them as well as we can, as good as we can. Uh, so yeah. Cool. Alex, let's talk about the awesome amp scoring that you have. This is something that uh, I think actually we might see more teams implement later on. They can maybe take some inspiration from that because you have a lot of variance on how that score works. Can we put that up and yeah. let's talk about uh, how that process works? Uh, we need we put a sensor in there and the amp mechanism only allows us to raise when it detects a note in the in the chamber in the chamber and the lights should be turning on and detecting the note current it'll still work oh yeah we would swings pretty good it this bar pushes directly up against the uh, amp, and we, when the sh shooter is in the up position, it will fire into the, into the amp and slide direct, instead of bouncing out, the bar will block it and it will drop down. We have the amp mechanism attached to two pneumatic cylinders that each go one direction and it flips it both forward and backwards. We need to, it automatically uh, flips back off of once the note is removed. When you were analyzing the game, you know, with this type of shooter, I admit I, I was a little questioning on how you're gonna get that angle down. So how'd you come up with using this bar uh, uh, for, for this uh, robot? We were looking online for a lot of, through a lot of different teams. And we saw this one that was a little finicky, and we definitely and we fine tuned it. I cannot remember the exact team and where we found it from. What? Cranberry Alarm is where we found it, and 
we saw it wasn't always perfectly accurate, so we had to fine tune it a lot. Fine tune it, and we found the perfect spot with the perfect rotation with, well, the perfect arm length. And you all doing it under the bumper intake, just talking about how that transfer yeah, process works. The transfer process, the bottom, the top uh, intake right here sweeps it under into the bottom roller right here. And then it sweeps up into these, these two rollers. And we had some trouble before we put in the orange straps right here the note will get stuck and jammed directly here, directly where the orange straps are. And this stopped, this was very bad for the robot and we tried a lot of different things like putting dead rollers in there and we finally settled on the orange straps. Very so cool. We actually put sushi rollers on one of the rollers and that helped a surprising amount with speeding it up. And say hello, Sophia. Let's talk about this uh, custom dry ball module that you're doing. This is really cool. You know, so many teams we're seeing using COTS options out there. Why did you choose to go a custom route? And let's break down a little bit more about what it is. Okay, we made a custom drive set because it helps the kids learn more about a, how to make a draft drive set. And we customized it on CAD and we used a Tormach to make the yokes, the main plate, and the top plate. For the, we customized the yokes to be a little bit bigger so that the note could fit under the bumpers easier for the intake. And I noticed on here you got some bumper guards as well too. Some pretty uh, heavy uh, steel he got welded on. Uh, how's that been working out for you so far? It's been doing pretty well so far, yeah. Uh, my other teammates welded the guards. Very cool. Well, overall, what a fantastic machine in a robot, Cybersonics 103 once again. Thanks for taking time to us about your machine. A lot of great stuff and good luck here at Allentown. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.